dear students we are in mcat mathematics and also we are in three dimensional coordinate systems or coordinate geometry okay this is the last class for this chapter we will finish this chapter in this class uh, we will do from question number 13 to 16 okay 13 14 15 16 okay see uh, question number 13 if the ortho center and the centroid of a triangle are at 5 2 minus 6 and 9 6 minus 4 respectively then what is the circum center like they are asking see there is a formula formula or theorem or whatever it will be you see i will take ortho center as o and the centroid as g okay ha ah. see o g and you take in between circum center s yes. okay now what i am writing observe carefully circum center yes divides oj in 3 is to 1 externally okay ha ah, this you have to remember this is formula or whatever you may think that means oj only you have to take oj ortho center and centroid then circum center s divides oj in 3 is to 1 externally that is also you have to remember okay let us write then See O G I am writing three to one also I am writing you see S is equal to O O is first one ortho center five two minus six implies I am writing and this side nine six minus four and three is to one but this three is to one calculation you have to do externally externally you see three into nine six Minus four minus external limits minus out there one into five two minus six divided by three minus one. Understand? Okay. Denominator will come two, but this first you do it twenty seven eighteen minus four. Okay, three nine so three six so three four so, and uh, see minus. 5 to minus 6. 5 to minus 6 divided by 2. Okay. Okay, write down. Next. See 27 minus 5. 22. 22 by 2. At one go, I am writing. Okay. Uh, 18 minus 2. 16. 16 by 2. Comma, I am keeping. Minus 12 plus 6. Minus 6 by 2. Minus twelve plus six minus six by two. The comma you keep. That is equal to C eleven eight minus three. Okay, eleven eight minus three. This is your circum center. How have got this formula? Okay, let us go for next question. C question number fourteen. Point A four three five point B zero minus two two and point C three two one are three points. Okay. The coordinates of the point in which the bisector of angle BAC meets the side BC is C. He has not mentioned anywhere like uh, it is a triangle, but normally it is a triangle. C. What will happen at all? Observe carefully here. Okay. C. I am drawing one triangle. First thing. Say this is triangle. Okay. Observe carefully. Angle BAC. That means in center will be A. That means A B C. Angle B A C means this will be angle theta. Okay, theta I have not written why because there is a purpose why it. A B C are there points I am not writing. The coordinates of the point in which the bisector of angle B A C. That means this is going to become bisector. Bisector of angle and bisector of side both are different. Okay, ah. Uh. See now this is going to become theta by two theta by two. Earlier theta was there like you think. Bisector of angle means exactly fifty percent. It is going to divide. That angle it is dividing, but it may not be division of this exactly. B C D. B C may not be division. Bisector of side means exactly B D equal to B C. Bisector of angle means theta. This theta by two is equal to theta by two. Or else alpha is equal to beta. Like that also you can take. Okay. Now go back again. Points, three points are there. 
the coordinates of the point in which the bisector BAC is meets the side BC, meets the side at D. That means see, this D they are asking X, Y, Z. Understand the logic? Okay, how are we going to find that D? Okay, see. See, BC you are knowing. This ratio, if you know, you can find this point. Internally, it is divided. Okay, how are we going to find the ratio? Okay, logic AC, AB distance you can find, AC distance also you can find. Why? Because A, B, C, R we are having. AB divided by AC is equal to BD divided by DC. You write that first. You see what I am writing. AB divided by AC. AB divided by AC is equal to BD divided by DC. BD divided by DC. You see where it is becoming B, B has to come. Where it is becoming C, C has to come. Okay? That if you can find. BD divided by DC means what? This is ratio only, internal ratio. If you get this automatically, you will get that. Let us find the first AB. AB is equal to, you see, 4 minus 0, 4 square plus 3 plus 2, 5 square plus 5 minus 2, 3 square under root. Okay, uh, 16 plus uh, 9, 25 plus 25, 50, root 50. Okay, root 50. Okay, this is AB. Then go for uh, AC also. Why? Because AC also you have to find. AC. Find AC. AC means now see 4 minus 3, 1 square plus 3 minus 2, 1 square plus 5 minus 1, 4 square under root. Okay, that is equal to C. 16 plus 1, 17 plus 1, 18, root 18. Root 18. See, how we are going to divide these two AB by AC means? See, what I am doing? Shall I write 50 by 18 as like this? Sir? See, 2 into 25 by 3 into 6. No, 2 into 9. Okay, huh. under root. That means 25 will come as 2, uh, sorry, 5, and 9 will come as 3, root 2. That means you see, root 2, root 2 will cancel 5 by 3. That means see, BD by DC, this you have to divide in a 3, 5 is to 3 ratio. Okay? For, for numerator is 5, BD, 5 is to 2. This is how it is, it is dividing internally only. Why? Because in between it is there. Externally means outside it will be. Okay, that logic you have to say. Now apply. D is equal to see D implies I am keeping first. D I am writing again once again. You see 0 minus 2, 2. And this side C I am writing. 3, 2, 1. In between ratio I am writing. 5 is to 3. Okay. See this we are going to do internally, internally division. Okay, first of all, if I write this, so 5 into this one. 3, 2, 1. Internal means plus. 3 into this one. 0 minus 2, 2. Whole divided by 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3, I will write. After that, I will write 8. That is equal to. First, you send inside. 15, 10, 5. 15, 10, 5. Okay, 5, 3 is 5, 2 is 5, 1. So, plus. Plus. Uh, 0. Minus 6 is 6. Whole divided by 8. Directly write 8. Okay? Uh. See, 15 plus 0 is 15. 15 by 8. Comma. 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 by 8. 1 by 2. Or 4 by 8 only I will write. Why? Because denominator I want to keep all that one, uh, one, one number only. Okay? 15 by 8, you can't do anything. You keep it. 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 by 8 you can write as 1 by 2 but you keep it like this only. 5 plus 6. 11 by 8. Okay. Ah. Keep this like this only. This is the answer for this question. Let us go for next question. Okay. Observe carefully this question. What is the triangle? It is a triangle they have mentioned clearly. If the midpoints of the sides of A, B, B, C, C, A of a triangle are 1, 5, minus 1, 0, 4, minus 2, 2, 3, 4 respectively. Then the length of the median drawn from C to A, B is. Okay. See, 
uh, one figure I want to draw first. Observe carefully this figure. Okay, if you observe this figure carefully, then you can attempt to this question easily. Okay, see here. Uh, say A is there, B is there, C is there. Okay. Directly they have not given A, B, C here. Midpoint of A, B they have given. Let we take this as P. Okay. Midpoint of A, B, B, C, C, A. And uh, B, C they have given. Midpoint of B, C they have given. Let this as a Q. Midpoint of C also they have given. Let this is R. Okay. P, Q, R we have taken. Okay. Now what they are asking. Length of the median drawn from C to A, B. That means see. A, B is there. Median you are drawing. Median you are drawing means naturally it is going to become perpendicular. Then it is going to touch it. That means C, P you have to find. Length of the median means C, P. How you are going to find C, P? Why? Because P you know. But C you don't know. Is there any possibility of finding C? Yes. Why? Because you see what I am doing here. Observe carefully what I am doing. Shall I draw a figure like this? You see now it is going to become parallelogram. That means see P Q C R is a parallelogram. Then what we can do? P plus C is equal to R plus Q. Why? Because these both diagonals are equal. Okay. P plus Q. So not both diagonals are equal. Not length. Addition. P plus C is equal to R plus Q. Right now. P plus C is equal to R plus Q. You want C. C is equal to R plus Q minus P. Why? Because whatever uh, P means what? In between this we will take upwards. So R means what? R means C A. C A means respectively third one. Third one means this one. Right now. Or else let P is equal to one comma five comma minus one. Q is equal to zero comma four comma minus two. R is equal to two comma three comma four. But you require C. Okay. Come. See what I am writing. R plus Q. R plus Q is equal to C. Zero plus two two. Four plus three seven. Minus two plus four two. Okay. Now R plus Q minus P is equal to. See two minus one one, seven minus five two, two minus half minus one three one two three will come. That means see your C will be one comma two comma three. Also your P will be one comma five comma minus one. Length of the median means is P C. That's all P C R C P. P C is equal to C one minus one zero plus. 2 minus 5 minus 3 square plus 3 minus of minus 1 4 square under root 16 plus 9 under root that is equal to 5. Understand? Let us go for next question. Okay, see question number 16. The distance between circum center and orthos center of a triangle formed by 1 2 3 3 minus 1 5 4 0 minus 3 is like they are asking. See. Unless you do distances A B C line, you take this A B C line. Unless you do distance and find, unless this is a rectangle triangle, not easy to find this. We may how to find in different way, but the easiest way how we are going to find is observe carefully. See what I am writing. After all, soon I am going to draw the figure, triangle figure. Why? Because by seeing this triangle, I have given already. Okay. Let A is equal to one comma two comma three. B is equal to three comma minus one comma five. C is equal to four comma zero comma minus three. Okay. Okay. Now find AB. AB is equal to one minus three, one minus three minus two square, two square four plus two, two minus half minus one, three square plus two, three minus five, two square under root. Okay. Or else uh, we will take a b square. Afterwards we will see. So a b square. Okay. Now you see. Yeah, eight, nine, seventeen. Okay. Four plus nine, thirteen plus four, seventeen. Okay. Now go for b c square. 
b c square b c square means a 3 minus 4 1 square plus minus 1 1 square plus 5 plus 3 8 square that means you see 64 uh, 66 66 okay okay now go for uh, yes is square yes is square Okay, we have not taken root of, these are squares only, yes is square, see 1 minus 4, 3 square plus 2 square plus 6 square, why right? 3 minus of minus 6 square, okay, uh, 36, 40, 49, 49, okay, now we see 49 plus 70, 66, that means see here, what has, what is happening, a b square plus a c square is equal to b c square. Okay, let's see what I am writing now. Observe carefully. See, b c square is bigger hypotenuse. I will take like this. b c, this I will take as a. Okay. See, now what they are asking? Circumcenter. Circumcenter means, see, hypotenuse center is circumcenter. Yes, sir. That means, yes will be B plus C by 2. That's all. Midpoint of hypotenuse is your second center. At this time, this A is not A. This is ortho center you can write. Okay? Ortho center will be your O. That means, finally, distance between circum center and ortho center means you find first that one and you, the distance between A and this. Okay? Easily you can find. Let us proceed. Then, first of all, you find yes. B plus C by 2. That means see 4 plus 3, 7 by 2. Okay? Minus 1, minus 1 by 2. 5 minus 3, 2 by 2. Okay? Plus means 5 minus 3, 2 by 2. Minus 1 by 2, 7 by 2. Okay? This is what? This is ortho center, sorry, circum center. Then ortho center is your A only. 1, 2, 3. Now you find distance between these two. Okay, yes, wo. Okay, distance between second center and other center, yes, wo. or wo, yes, both are same. Okay, see, 7 by 2 is bigger than 1, write down. 7 by 2 minus 1 whole square plus minus 1 by 2 minus 2 whole square plus 2 by 2 means 1 only. 1 minus 3 whole square under root. Okay, ah, see, 7 minus 2, 5. 5 by 2 whole square, 25 by 4, plus, see, minus 1, minus 4, minus 5, minus 5 by 2, 25 by 4, plus, 1 minus 3, 2, 2 square, 4, under, okay, okay, see, you take 4 as LCM, then 25 plus 25, 1, 4 times, 16, under root, that is equal to, see, 50 plus 16, 66, by 4, shall I write 2, root 66 by 2, that means, see, 1 by 2, root 66, this is distance between ortho center and circum center, okay, see, we will stop this class and we will close this chapter also, in the next class we will meet uh, 2A fifth chapter, Okay, permutation or combination or probability something is there. I think permutation or combination. Okay, let us meet in the next class. Thank you very much.